in this webinar, in this kind of webinars from last one year with various state drug inspectors, central drug inspectors, and uh, other keynote speakers from the field. So today we have a special guest speaker with us, uh, Mr. Shivadeva. He is working as a central drug inspector in CDSCO Hyderabad. So before moving into the session, I would like to thank each and everyone for taking your time and uh, attending this session. So on 23rd, we have conducted session with Ram Kishan sir. And 29th, we have conducted session with uh, Sumita Joshi, who is our uh, alumni student. So who has taken coaching with us, we are proud for that. And like this, we, would, we have planned to conduct these kind of uh, series activities in the last one year and in the coming one year as well. So we are trying our best as pharma is going up. So contacts are coming in and people are very much happy to support us. That is what the credibility we got. So because of the trust on us, because of the uh, things, what we are doing in the market in terms of helping the students out of their passion, they are coming and they are helping. So maybe, um, by the way, how, uh, can I know how many of you are attending for the first time? Can I see a thumbs up or a uh, hand rise? How many of you are attending the, for the first time? Does anyone is here? Okay, Ashok is there. Santosh is there. Great. So yeah, let me give just brief introduction of five minutes, and then we'll uh, hand over session to Shivdeep sir. So if you are attending for the first time, just would like to give what ES Pharma education is all about. It's a one-stop solution for all kind of pharmacy entrance exams and pharmacy careers. So myself and Dr. Jyoti Shri, we are running this institute with the help of a team of members in the same field, corporate, working in the government sector, working in the colleges, academic side, everywhere. So we are based at Hyderabad. So you can see our product basket here. Just in, yeah. This is our product basket. We are starting with the PG entrance exams till the pharma IT careers. We are helping the students in every area of their life. If somebody wants to go abroad and uh, write any international exams, we are happy to help them. We are doing coaching there. And if any notifications comes in the government sector, like drug inspector, government pharmacist, all those things. So we are giving some brief exams, coaching materials, everything. And GPAT and NIPER, we have uh, tremendous results from the last uh, three years where we got almost NIPER, all India ranked four from Indraja AMU student. So, uh, so many ranks are there, results are there, but definitely this is not the platform to discuss what we are up to. Just to give a brief introduction, we are just one-stop solution for all the pharmacy exams and pharmacy areas. So this webinar, we are conducting the institution of IPA, Indian Pharmacists Association, which was started by Abhay Kumar, National President, Yupendra Kumar, General Secretary. And coming to this Telangana State Branch, many of you know, Dr. Jyoti Shri, she is working as a vice president there. And this is not so big organization, but definitely growing organization. People are coming in out of their passion, they are joining this organization, and they are fighting for the so many causes, like registered pharmacist, renters who should not be there, rental of the certificate, and amendments are related to pharmacy acts. And they are fighting for the pharmacy notifications as well. They are fighting for the reservation of the contract employees as well. So many things are there, they have separate agenda. But today, we thank all the IPA members, especially Mr. President, Dr. Uh, Shilkumar Pejawar, and of course, Jyoti Madam, you all know, and uh, all other team members, like Mr. Alim is there, Mr. Adash is there, and uh, yes, Arigala Suman, Sandeep, and uh, Rishita Krishna, and of course, organizing secretary, Thirmal Raghavan. So, we'll understand that they are doing their best in terms of pharmacy education, and establishing pharmacy rights, pharmacist rights in especially Telangana state. If you wish to join this organization, association, you are always welcome. You can talk to Jyoti Madam or Shivakumar. They will be helping you out giving this membership form and all those things. And so with the help of this organization, initiation, jointly we are organizing this webinar with Central Health Inspector, Mr. Shivdeva. So his journey is very inspiring, how he has become central drug inspector and everything, maybe more than my uh, introducing him to you. It is, uh, he will be sharing his journey, how he has become central drug inspector, what are the struggles he has faced in terms of his B farm, M farm studies, and uh, how he has attempted the exam, all those things. So we are really thank you and welcome Mr. Uh, Shredeva Garu for taking your time and uh, especially sharing awareness session to all our students. 
so my request to all student is that please do ask relevant questions it is not like so formal kind of webinar session like last two weeks we have conducted you can talk to him freely you can ask as many questions as possible related to your exam preparation this is purely awareness motivation session to become drugs inspector if you can decide today and you can uh, attend the exam with full uh, what we call academic plan everything definitely there is high probability and chances that by next year you will become central back inspector or to show that thank you thank you very much I think your voice is not audible, sir. I think some problem with the earphones. Let's wait for two minutes. Okay. Hello, is it okay now? Yes, yes, now it's fine. You can... Now it's fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Is it okay now? Can I proceed? Yes, sir, it's fine. Clearly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Uma Shankar Garu, and thank you, Jyoti Ma'am, and thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Shiva Garu, who invited me to present such an interactive session. Of course, I can say this is a, um, a new thing to me because I, I can say it's the first uh, session I never um, interacted with any of these uh, kind of things. Uh, this is a very new thing to me and I want to be thankful to the organizers who invited me and uh, to this session. Uh, so, hi all. Uh, and I want to introduce myself here. My name is Shivadev D, working as a central drug inspector uh, since 2017. And I worked in uh, CDSCO headquarters New Delhi for five years. And uh, from the last one year, I have been uh, working here. I'm working here in the CDSCO Hyderabad zone. So basically, I am from Varangal and I completed my B pharmacy in Kakati University and completed my M pharmacy in JNTU, Kukatpali. Uh, after that, I went to the um, Klienta Research, uh, Ahmedabad, as a research scientist. After that, uh, I worked in GVK Bio, um, conducting uh, bioanalytical uh, uh, studies. After that, I went to the Dr. Reddish Laboratories, and after that, I worked in the Myelin Laboratories. Also, I have. Mm, I'm having, a, I had almost uh, seven years of industry experience as well. And uh, I'm with the national regulatory agency since uh, last six years. Uh, this is a brief in introduction about me. So as uh, organizers requested me, I made a small presentation uh, to make you aware of um, central rag inspector exam. Uh, and I want to make you aware of what is the whole whole sole framework of CDSCO, that is a central um, regulating, drug regulating authority, of course, we can say national regulatory authority, which can be declared by the WHO. So, uh, ma'am, if you don't mind, can you open the presentation by that I can. Hello, Jyoti, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Yeah, can I? Okay, good, good. Yeah, 
here i made this slide to make you aware of the three things basically here the three things are there very important three things which can be useful for the central bank inspector exam um, first of all the whole scenario revolves around drugs and cosmetic act 1940 so i want to make you aware of uh, drugs and cosmetic act 1940 this is a pre independent independence act which enacted in 1940 to regulate import to please uh, be concentrated on here to regulate regulate import manufacture distribution and sale of drugs the act will regulate these things import manufacture distribution and sale of drugs not only drugs it also regulates cosmetic veterinary products medical devices including in vitro diagnostic diagnostic which are being manufactured which are being distributed which are being imported into our country the main role of drugs and cosmetics act 1940 to regulate drugs cosmetic veterinary medical devices right so here this act will be implemented by two mechanisms one is a central mechanism one one through central mechanism and through state mechanism since the name drug the drug is listed in the conference list because of the reason the drug is being regulated by the central mechanism central government mechanisms and state government mechanisms so here we have to consider the, the our intended topic is our topic of interest is central government so central government has to regulate the drugs it should have a mechanism right that mechanism that machinery will be cdco central government will regulate and enforce the drugs and cosmetic act through its subordinate office central drug standard control organization which headed by drug controller general of india having drug inspector government analyst here this is about act and cdsco then this act will tell what to do means we have to import we have to regulate the import of drugs we have to regulate the manufacture of drugs but how to regulate act is stating what to regulate but how to regulate these can be described these all things are described as per the rules we have defined how to regulate these things in the rules these rules can be called as earlier can be called, uh, called as drugs and cosmetic rules 1945 but in the year 2020 to made separate provisions for the drugs and cosmetics in the year 2020 we made separate rules like drug rules 1945 and cosmetic rules 2020 of course here already we are discussing about that act will regulate drugs as well as cosmetics so we made the rules for the cosmetics and also for it is also regulating the medical devices so we made the medical devices rules 2017 and to control the clinical trials to control the approvals of new drugs which are not being approved in india we made separate rules for those those are new drugs and clinical trial rules 2019 so these are the three key things which i want to discuss here one is act and then rule these act and rules can be enforced implemented by the central body central government through its department through its subordinate division that is the cdsco next map so as we see that central government will enforce the and cosmetic act through its organization cdsco what what are the functions of cdsco then what cdsco will do actually CDSO will regulate import of drugs. CDSO will give you approval of new drugs and approval for the conduct of clinical trials. 
on the human beings as per the provisions laid down in the new drugs and clinical trial rules 2019 cdso also conducts drug consultative committees wherein all the state licensing authorities each respective state licensing authorities will give suggestion to drug controller general of india that suggestion can be taken by the dcga to the dta so these two things are very important here drugs consultative committee and drug technical advisory board you may expect uh, some of the questions from these what is the dcc and what is dta dta is headed by the director general of health services djhs it have some ex officio members nominated members and elected members whatever the rules are going into the picture for approved by this dtab only any of the rule coming coming as a rule it should be get approved through the dtab which was headed, which will be headed by the dghs and what cdso else do what else it will do it also endorses the license given by the state licensing authority hello is it audible hello yes, sure it's all to the hello it's audible sir yeah yeah somebody texted that it is not audible okay yeah no no it's audible yeah and cds what else cds for do it also endorses the licenses provided by the state for the given products like blood banks the license will be given by the state licensing authorities and it those can be endorsed by central licensing authority so here by the bilingual licensing system the blood bank should be get approved through state licensing machinery and central licensing machinery similarly large value parent trust Which which are having more than hundred ml vaccines, RDNA products, stem cells. Nothing but these are based on the criticality in nature. These products will be regulated by the both central and state mechanism. Next, banning of drugs. CDC also bans the drugs through its notification. Suppose uh, in the recent times, CDC bans most of the MPCs, fixed dose combinations because of their irrational combination. So CDC also does the banning of drug, and it also market surveillance. We do the market surveillance, any complaints, and CDC also provides personal licenses based on the prescription of RMP. These are the major functions of CDC. O. This next one. Yeah. So now. here we are all are revolving around the drug right drugs and cosmetic act so what is a drug i want to show as per the act the act has given four definitions to to the drug and i have extracted two which are important of course four are very important but i have taken some relevant portion from that all medicines will be called as a drug all medicines for internal or external use of human beings or animals so that's why we are regulating veterinary products also and all substances intended to be used for diagnosis treatment mitigation the substances used for diagnosis treatment mitigation will also covered under the definition of drug as per the act to treat any disease or disorder in human beings and animals so by this definition we can understand that the drugs used for the treatment of animals and drugs used for the treatment of human beings also can be regulated through drugs and cosmetic act since those are covered under the definition of drug this 3b1 3b4 then why we are regulating medical devices because those medical devices also called as a drug as per the act in the act the drug definition has given as below such devices intended for external or internal use in the diagnosis treatment mitigation hence for we are regulating medical devices also since the medical devices as per the definition falling under the category of drug and drugs 
then we are regulating medical devices also. And you may have the doubt that why blood CDSO regulating the blood also? Because blood is also used to treat human beings. So it is falling under the definition of drug. So we are regulating the blood banks and blood products and blood components. And you may expect any of the question from um, the definition of the drug. Next. So here we, I have explained the basic things. What is central, what is state, and um, what is the drugs and cosmetic act, and what is the drugs and cosmetic rules, and what is a drug. These are the basic things. And one more basic thing here I want to show central drug inspector and state drug inspector. What, what these both people will do. Since the drug is falling under the concurrent list of constitution, that are, that should be regulated through state mechanisms and central mechanisms, right? So, central will majorly regulate, as per the act, will regulate the import of drugs and some extent to the manufacturing of drugs. State regulate manufacturing of drugs, distribution of drugs, and sale of drugs in their respective jurisdiction. Hence, we require both central drug inspector and state drug inspector. However, central drug inspector and state drug inspector will be appointed in appointed under section 21 only. What then what these drug inspectors will do? What central drug inspector will do, what state drug inspector will do? Both inspectors are appointed under section 21. They will execute similar functions. Central and state people will both will do the similar function. Most of the functions are same. They will ensure the quality of drug which is being produced or manufactured in the country or by inspecting the firms and by testing the drug. So drug inspector, what he will do? He will inspect the firm. And he will also get it tested. How he testing will be done? Drug inspector will take the samples from the market and he will send it to the central drug testing laboratory or any state drug testing laboratory. And it will be get tested for its quality. He also does the inspection to ensure that quality of the product is being the quality product being manufactured in the firm, in the industry. So these, if I can explain about you, these are the two major things to ensure the quality of the drug. These are the two major functions of the inspector. The act also provides other powers like set, stop, examine, any record and seize. The act also gives, based on the gravity of the uh, nature of the crime act provides such power to the drug inspector. Drug inspector can search anywhere, he can stop any vehicle, he can search any container, vehicle, or uh, building. The search power he has uh, that can be given, he, the power has been given to the drug inspector for both central and state. The act also given stop power, he can stop any vehicle, he can stop any container and he can examine the records. He can seize the material also. So these are the functions of inspectors and these are more or less very similar to the central and state inspectors. Then as I told you, inspector were only there in the act, both central and state will come under this only, appointment under section 21 of the Drugs and Cosmetic Act. What is the qualification of the act? We, we know about uh, what is the role of inspector. The major role of the inspector is to ensure the quality of the drug. Then what, what is the qualification of inspector? As you might have aware of that, he must have the degree in pharmacy and pharmaceutical science. There are other medicine with specialization in clinical pharmacology or microbiology also eligible for the inspector. Means MBBS with so PG in pharmacology or microbiology also eligible for inspector 
exam. Here, one more, some provisions they have given that he should have 18 months experience and he in the manufacturing, he should have 18 months experience with the testing and he should have three, month, three years experience in regulating. In that case only, he can able to inspect the firms which produces the drugs listed in the Schedule C. And central government, central government will recruit the drug inspectors for Group B guested post. His pay level is eight. One more tool. Then, as I told you, that inspector will take the samples and send it to the testing laboratory. There will be one more course, one government analyst post is there. He also appointed under Section 20 of the Drugs and Cosmetics Act and his qualification prescribed under Rule 44. Just wait for two minutes. Maybe I think there is a power interruption here. Yes, give, just give me one minute. One minute. Please take me back. Hello, am I audible now? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yeah, thank you. Can you go to the previous slide, please? Yeah. Yeah. Next, please. Next, please. Yeah, now, as I came to know through the organizers that you have the exam, most of the people are having the exam in 19th August for the Delhi, right? It will be, uh, which is going to be conducted by the Union Public Service. Generally, service commission, generally, the Central Drug Inspector exam will be uh, organized by the Union Public Service Commission only. And however, this exam is an exam for the state of Delhi. But this uh, since it is a UT, uh, this Delhi has given uh, this uh, to UPSC to conduct, to organize the exam. This is not for the central drug inspector exam. This is for the state, state drug inspector exam for the state of Delhi. However, this is, this is organizing by the Union Public Service Commission. Now, just I want to stress the, what are the syllabus they have given. I have seen in that. Uh, just I want to stress uh, where in which area you need to um, 
more concentrate on that. So in that they have given first chapter, they have given about chemistry and pharmacology. As all of you know, you must have gone through all those things, but I want to stress some of the things that there are major uh, topics we need to cover in the exam, nervous system, that's affecting on the major organs and chemotherapy. So whenever you are studying these drugs, rather than by hiding the drug, you should have to go to the theory, the concept. Nothing but what is the chemistry of drug and because of which the action, the efficacy is asserting to the drug, what is the responsible group responsible group of the drug eliciting the efficacy. So you have to go to the basics rather than by hardening. Just I want to stress here that go to the basics, go to the basic structure of the molecule and read accordingly. And then you have to know about classification of drug. Of course, this can be done by by hardening of drugs. And mechanism of action in which receptor it is at attaching and what are the unwanted effects because of which this rather than by adding unwa unwanted effects you have to read because of which reason this unwanted effect is coming from the drug if you by hard in in such a way you will never forget and so these are the Parts you need to stress in the pharmacology, pharmacokinetics part, nothing but after going into the body, how it is getting metabolized, metabolism, and which metabolite is responsible for efficacy, and which metabolite is Again, I think uh, some power, power issue there. But please stay connected. The reason is he is giving the valuable information than the last two webinars. So please do stay connected. Just uh, wait for one minute. Uh, she will come back. Actually, this time we want to make it more of interactive kind of thing. Maybe this session will end in, I mean, his presentation will end in another 5-10 minutes. After that, we'll open for all the questions. So whatever you are holding the questions from last one month. So you can ask any kind of question related to exam preparation or maybe your syllabus, pattern, everything, interview preparation, screening, everything. And sir is back here. Yeah. yeah, is it okay, sir? Can I move? Is it okay? I'm audible now. Hello, can I proceed? Yes, and yeah, the basic things need to be concentrated in the pharmacology that chemistry of the part, mechanism of action of the part, unwanted effects of the drug, and pharmacokinetics and drug drug interactions. These things need to be concentrated in the pharmacology. Next. When it comes to the sutix part, as all of you know that there are different types of formulations like solid, solid dosage forms and uh, liquid dosage forms, parental preparations. In all those things, you have to concentrate on the role of each excipient. You may get the questions from this excipient. So what type of excipient? What is the purpose of that excipient used in such formulation? Like, what are the you know, glidants? What are the disintegrants? What are the bulking agents? What are the material used for the coating? So you have to concentrate on each and every excipient and its role. Next, what are the sterilization techniques? 
you have to concentrate on sterilization techniques like these are the very important uh, you may get the question from sterilization techniques but radiation sterilization by steam sterilization by hot heat sterilization chemical sterilization what 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 is the gas used in the gas sterilization what are the parameters for the heat sterilization all those things need to be get covered and one more thing what are the defects of the formulation it also get concentrated you may expect the question from that also. and evolution test like i say related substances disintegration dissolution these evolution test along with their specification limits also get concentrated you may get the questions from this like dissolution is there what type of apparatus how many types of apparatus is having known and you may have to go to the emulsion suspensions and control release doses forms and microbiology part also you have to get concentrate what is bet test what is uh, bio burden test what is the sterility test what is the pyrogen test you have to concentrate this area so i have seen the previous uh, question papers it contains closures also very important if we neglect that what type of glass it will be useful for the formulations and i have seen that most of the questions are coming from posology part or calculation part also what is the dose adjustment how calculations so these things need to be concentrated on the cutix part you have to stress excipient and its role evolution test and their limits next when it comes to the pharmaceutical analysis there are four techniques to analyze the drug majorly divided into spectroscopy which will use the light chromatography which will use the polarity technique electrochemical methods and titrations we can categorize analysis into these four topics each topic has to be concentrated on their principle and its instrumentation part you may get the question from the instrumentation part what is the source what is the detector likewise you may get and how those instrument will be calibrated what is the material will be used for the uh, the calibration these points need to be stressed these point need to be get concentrated while preparing and applications of each equipment uv where we can use vis visible spectroscopy how we can use hplc in which cases hplc has to be get used and gas how you where it can be get used what are the gases used in that hplc what is absorbent what is the reverse phase chromatography what is the normal phase chromatography in ion exchange chromatography what what type of resins will be used in the ion exchange chromatography and these things need to be get concentrated while preparing the pharmaceutical analysis next so i have seen that blade and blade components is also one of the um, one of the chapter they have given that blade and blade components these things blade and blade components you read schedule f of the drugs rules they have given very very elaborated manner um, it might be useful if you go to the schedule f in which you have to concentrate about how you prepare whole human blood how you take how you store at what condition whole human can be stored and what tests need to be done for whole human blood these things need to be concentrated how packed red, red blood cells can be prepared how it can be stored what are platelet concentrates how it can all these things fresh frozen plasma apheresis these things need you need to know while preparing for the blade and blade components chapter you go for the schedule f of the drugs rules they have described it very good you may get the question from these things and what another chapter vaccines seras and biotechnology products these also described in schedule f1 next one 
and another chapter they have given that GMP, GLP, GCP. Good manufacturing practices. Schedule M of the drugs and cosmetic rule describe about good manufacturing practices with respect to the solid dosage forms, with respect to the sterile dosage forms, with respect to the active pharmaceutical ingredients, and with respect to the meter dose inhalers. They have given in an elaborated manner. You go to the Schedule M, Part 1A to Part 1F. You will get entire details about the GMP. You have to read Schedule M. And GLP, Schedule L1 of the drugs and cost, drugs rules, they have given very elaborated manner. You have to go to the Schedule L1 for GLP principle. And GCP principles, good clinical practices. Who is the sponsor? What is the responsibility of the sponsor? What is the trial design? How it go? How it can be? Who is the customer? Who is the subject? Who is the patient? All those things three will, give, will be given in the new drugs clinical trials rules. You go to the indicity rules. By that you can aware of the good, good clinical practices GCP. Next, as drugs and next uh, they have given drugs and cosmetic act also. In this you have to consultate all schedules. Whatever given in the book, you have, you have to buy her no one other way. All schedules, all forms, and what is the function, what is the composition of DTAB, DCC, what are the functions of DTAB, DCC, you may get the question from this. And next, biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics, you need to know the classification, biopharmaceutical classification, BCS 1, 2, 3, 4, you might know. And pharmacokinetics, how, how the drug is absorbed into the systemic circulation, how it can be distributed, how it can be metabolized, how it can be eliminated. In this, you may questions like this, for, for longer half-life. In the pharmacokinetics, what are the parameters? AUC, Tmax, Cmax. So you may get the questions from these, and they may ask the questions like that. Drug, what is the half-life of drug? What is the drug having longer half-life? Narrow therapeutic index drugs. They may ask such uh, not directly questions. They may ask like that. So these two are very simple computer applications. You need, you need not to bother about with whichever uh, knowledge you can attempt. These computer applications. What is uh, keys in that? What are the control F control C? Such questions they may ask. And English language proficiency. They may ask grammar like grammar questions mostly. They may ask grammar type of questions. Next. So, there are plenty of opportunities other than drug inspection. I can say. So, if you didn't get the job, don't need to worry. There are plenty of opportunities in terms of research and development area, in terms of production and manufacturing area, packaging area, quality control area, quality assurance area, regulatory area. Sales and marketing area, clinical pharmacy side, academic side, TRO side. Of course, as I told you, government analyst also is one of uh, government job there. Medical writing, pharmacologists, there are plenty. You no need to bother about if they didn't get the drug inspector. You can succeed in your life by selecting any of these. I have highlighted, I have taken some of the important uh, um, opportunities here. However, you have the bright future if you have next one. So the last word I want to say, you must have three Ds. You must have the desire and everything is achievable. Every desire is achievable. The only thing you should have the desire. I should have to become drug inspector. That is my desire. That desire can be achievable through strong determination. At any cost, I need to become drug inspector. And you must have the dedication. To become drug inspector, I should have dedication by sitting for every 10 hours. If you have that much of dedication, definitely nobody can take you out the job from you. At least one month preparation, it is very sufficient for you if you prepare every day 10 hours. So 
you can succeed in that way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Really, it's a wonderful uh, presentation. So people has Thank learned you. so many things, new things, I can say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, regarding the syllabus, regarding the experience, regarding the motivation, everything. But common objection from I receive from my students is that, is it possible with me? And then a Kasala drug inspector and job was in the- Yeah, for that I have the answer. I have the answer. Kind of me, yeah, yeah. Of me inhibition, I'm not sure. So, mm -hmm. Dan, we have two words, people will be yeah, yeah. Uh, For that, I have answered that. I have, I am also in the same situation where you are. I came from that situation only. I am the normal guy. I am the first class student from the entire first grade student. Uh, and only the thing is that the last three words, what, what I have followed, I, I told to you. I have desired that I, I want to become drug inspector at any of the stage. For that, I have a strong desire. For that, I worked in the industry, even though uh, after going into the industry in the evening times up to 10, 12, I made a schedule and I strictly followed that schedule. So, um, no need to worry, just you go and prepare and attempt the exam. No need to worry, just you have to do the preparation as per your scheduled plan that's all everybody have the equal opportunities there if you prepare well so now it is open for all the I, I can say I, I am the example for uh, you can uh, mirror image uh, you know, I'm the mirror image of you so if participants has any questions you can ask so, sir, man, tell you are. If you have any questions, also you can uh, comfortably say in all the languages. So, please do ask whatever language you prefer. Any question, sir, you can ask. Jyoti, man, will convey the questions to sir. So, they have some questions. Mm -hmm. You have told like uh, so many subjects. Eh? They are asking especially what are the subjects like they have to concentrate more. You said like pharmacology, uh, like entire uh, syllabus copy, right? So they are asking in this like take point, what are the subjects they, they need to concentrate? You have to concentrate on three subjects, especially that give you the confidence, not marks. The confidence makes a lot of things. You have to be thorough with the pharmacology and pharmaceutical analysis and jurisprudence. Okay. And pharmaceutics also. I, I have seen uh, some previous papers and, uh, and as per the, my experience, uh, uh, if you read these four things in a well manner, you will get the confidence, not the marks. Confidence matters a lot. And uh, actually, uh, in the last uh, notification, they said like 18 months of industrial experience is not mandatory. Not but not in your presentation, it is like uh, they are right, uh, uh, mandatory. So students not are asking it's mandatory. For the uh, Delhi notification, there is no need of experience. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the upcoming notification, is it like uh, they'll keep it mandatory or no? Or do you have any information? Previous recruitment, they have asked the uh, experience. In future, uh, um, that is not a decided fit. Yes, yes. And about age also, actually, it's like uh, for general, it is 30, and uh, SESG, like it's like 35, and OBC, it is like 33 for the yeah. previous notifications. And uh, our students, like uh, they kept a uh, uh, request. Uh, will they accept? What is, uh, do you have any information regarding that age yeah, criteria? Same thing, age is 30 for open and uh, 32 for uh, OBC category. And I, I think so. For Delhi, um, there is no OBC, I think. Only general and uh, SCST, yeah? And for that... Yeah, yeah. for upcoming uh, notification, is there any chances of increasing? No, no, no. Same thing. 
do you have any like uh, idea about what is a paper pattern actually they said like uh, 300 marks total marks yes, and yes. they said like equal marks all the questions carry equal marks and the, the, the negative marking is one third do you have any exact info about the paper pattern like that they may give 100 questions each three if for negative marking there will be minus one each question carries okay. three marks and total of 100 questions and uh, mm -hmm. negative mark is one i think so yes. as per the details they have, they have given in the notification yes sir, yes can you please tell the interview pattern after this notification uh, after this exam they need to attend like uh, interview right can you please yeah. tell the if you prepare for the exam well, interview is not that much uh, difficult uh, because they have given 25 marks for that 75-25 ratio. If you clear the written exam, then it is very easy to face. Generally, they will they will assess. Uh, it's a UPSC, right? UPSC will assess mostly. Not go, they will not go mostly into the technical part. Uh, they will see how your attitude is mostly. As per my experience, I am telling. Okay. And uh, how many, uh, for ex approximately how many questions they need to attempt for qualifying the drug inspector exam, this especially okay. central? The, that based on um, how how you all of the people attempted that paper. Uh, yes. <laughs> if you if anybody attempted ninety, uh, based on that, it is not like that. Uh, some bar line will be there, based uh, on the paper and based on the attempt. But it is, not the, it is not the matter of qualifying, right? It is the matter of getting um, job, right? You should be the one who will be the. It has to be you. You should be in the front line. From which book they need to study the schedules? Eh? Yeah, as schedules. Sorry, schedules. Uh, sh schedules like uh, ju from jurisprudence, we have schedules, right? Yeah. Uh, is there any yeah, specific yeah, yeah. book can you suggest? There is a book called. Uh, Universal Publications Bear Act book is there. You buy that Bear Act. Okay. Universal Just you after that you I uh, text me. I'll post it in the groups. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. And uh, already we gave update on age relaxation and experience about experience also, sir. Oh, approximately how many questions? Approximately how many questions they need to attempt? Yeah, that's what uh, I'm telling. It's, uh, it's not the matter of qualifying, right? For the qualify, we can tell that up to if you attempt this many, you can get qualified. But it's a matter of uh, uh, getting the job, right? Yeah, always you should be in the front line. You should be in the front line. Suppose uh, 25 posts are there. Um, always you try for that 25 posts. That means you have to attempt the maximum number. Yes. Hmm. And Rahul, what is the difference between state and central drug inspector? Already, sir, spoke about that in his presentation. Yeah. Sir, one doubt after completing family course. I'll clarify this, then Karan. Sir, is central drug inspector uh, will be conducted every year? Yeah, not like that. However, vacancies are there. I think so. 300 to 400 vacancies are there. Based on uh, it will not be like that every year it will be get conducted. Whenever uh, it get approved, uh, it will become as a notification. You we so, can't expect every week, every year. Uh, because uh, okay. the last notification came in uh, 2015. Now till now there is no notification, right? Uh, uh, now upcoming notification they are telling like 400 plus vacancies. Uh, uh, it, may, uh, it, may come, it may come in short. Uh, what is a tentative month? Our students are asking. Actually, every time we used to say, don't ask us about the notification. Just you be in yeah, your expression. But students correct. will ask the same question. You may uh, this time you may get uh, in near future about in five to six months you may get you may get that. Note. Does M farm students getting any priority when compared to B farm students in no. Central Drug Inspector? No, right. No. That will be the upcoming Central Sir said very soon. Can we get the chapter wise preparation, uh, Sir? Now it is like a, a peak moment. Sir will share some books. 
sir said like he will share some textbook names yeah, I, will the I will share you i will i, I have read uh, rangandale for the pharmacology lashman for the sutics and uh, of course cognacy is not there analysis you can uh, read any of the books you can search the number of materials in the internet yeah chatwal what do you say chatwal for analysis yeah it's fine and you go for, for all the question banks available in the market you read all the question banks whatever is available, even small big everything and uh, they are asking ashok is asking formulation development experience it is considerable actually um, sir is telling like experience not a mandatory required, not a mandatory yeah is government pharmacist eligible for gi yeah yes is government pharmacist basic qualification is bpharm whoever is having bpharm qualification is eligible candidate the semester results will matter yes Means percentage you mean to say? Uh, percentage will no, matter, sir. Nowhere no, it right. can be added. Nowhere it can be added. Nowhere it can be taken to the account. Yes, Vaibhav, you can give 23 years. My, my yes, BPOM percentage is 60%. My BPOM percentage is 60. Yeah, okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so now, in exam, facts based on logical, uh, everybody will have the same question. Actually, in State Drug Inspector, we have uh, paper two, general studies, sir. Uh, but in the central, we don't have, right? Uh, once, can you clarify that uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be having like a paper two or paper one or only one? No, no. It, is, it will no, be no, another. No need to bother about uh, much about the general studies. Just you have to concentrate on technical things only. Whatever the general questions will come based on your in intellectuality, you can attempt. But the whole general idea questions is means... that how much basic knowledge you have on the general knowledge part. General questions means like uh, uh, how much extent that they'll ask. What is the extent of the general basic, questions? I, general questions are not there in the syllabus I have seen. Only ah, computer yes. are there uh, and uh, English proficiency is there. They will ask whether this syntax is correct or not as per the grammar. Is PCA registration when certificate is mandatory? No. Actually, all these questions they know, but uh, they again wanted to listen from you. <laughs> yes, we'll share this uh, PPT in the groups. How to face an interview, sir, already told. And uh, sir, can you tell your experience, how you prepared for your exam? Have you cleared your exam? and? Uh, your experience and how you faced your interview. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm doing. And basically, I prepared for the gate, right? Whatever the material I have with me, I have gone through this. It's a re-preparation for me. Uh, it's not that much of a big difficult task at that time. But at that time, only the thing is that uh, how to manage the time. I am in the industry at that time. Uh, after going into the industry, coming to the home, and um, I, I prepared a schedule at what time, what has to be get rated, uh, read. In that, I spent most of the time for the pharmacology. And uh, unfortunately, I, most of the questions are not came from the pharmacology, but I'm just, uh, uh, it's a confidence is the matter. So I have the more, okay, I had read all the pharmacology and I read most of the specific part, I read most of the cognitive part. So um, in the evenings and by the morning, uh, six o'clock I wake up and so it's a matter of how you are utilizing the time uh, and um, read as many times as possible because uh, there is a more chances to forget right read uh, as many times as possible and uh, you keep uh, flashcards with you uh, with uh, for uh, about pharmacology classification um, and uh, I prepared uh, for that one but I went to the exam but no question is came what I know, because uh, always the exams, the complete exams are like that only. It, it may, it will not come through whatever we have read. So uh, there are four questions. You have to use your intellectuality. Okay, this might not be because about three you must have the knowledge you read. So these three are not there means it will be one. One will be the correct one. So my suggestion is that. You have to prepare, attempt for 100 questions. 
and read whole the syllabus the questions may come or not come that is not the matter how you are attempting and how uh, your presence of mind during writing the exam will matters a lot as per my experience i am telling and uh, uh, with respect to the interview i didn't face much problem there because one technical person sat, uh, sat there and he asked the, um, about my experience so whatever i am doing in the industry he asked, he asked about that so i didn't face any difficulty there in the upsc so for for all of you you have the equal opportunity nobody is uh, having more opportunity or not like that all of you are having the equal opportunity to get the job in industry what is the department you have worked one student asked this question <laughs> analytical analytical okay uh, now you are telling like your industrial experience is not mandatory right if you get this experience is mandatory for us it was mandatory for us it was mandatory ah uh, for forensic it is mandatory for example if they kept as this uh, this experience as mandatory will they consider the formulation development experience um, that i can't tell um, because i don't have the clarity on that yes yes okay sanjeev kumar found the students are eligible for writing drug inspector pharmacist drug central state everything okay yes backlog students are not eligible to give the test no not like that if you pass if you have uh, that even though you have uh, come you should have to pass that yes. you have you have to have the degree with you gpac qualification is not required m pharmacy is not required just b pharmacy is sufficient If any questions, please do ask in closing in the five minutes. But really, we are so thankful, sir, for the day. And Thank despite you, your busy schedule, you have taken your time and uh, taken this session. But definitely, many people got motivated and uh, they got a lot of awareness with this session. So really, I personally thank you and uh, IPA team, Mr. Shivakumar Garu, so arranging this kind of session. And in future, we need your support for this kind of... Uh, definitely, events. definitely. You might might not be knowing how much we have done right now, but really, out of two hundred people who have attended today, they got a lot of motivation from you, sir. So we need your support in future as well. Sure, sure, definitely. So we'll be sharing the PPT in the groups, respective groups. So we'll close in another. Uh, Three four minutes. If you have any questions, please do ask. So you can ask your questions. If not, now we thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I uh, actually.